youtube what's going on in today's video we're gonna go over the 2023 uh supercross prep tracks from erax this is part three uh of he's actually created two separate compounds and this is the second half of the schedule however in the background you're going to hear me and zug talking but the footage is actually just going to be me riding uh my gameplay got all messed up when i was trying to record so i'm very sorry about that part four will actually have us both riding together so be on the lookout for part four uh but i just wanted to come in here real quick and say that uh so i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it what we're going to do is we're going to go over the four tracks uh, about do two two laps on each one um and then we're going to just basically talk about the breaking news that we saw on uh, i saw it on twitter um, but then it was also on Instagram. It was basically everywhere. Uh, I'm not going to lie with you. But we got Kenny on a Yamaha. Now, I posted a poll on YouTube asking what did they think about Kenny going to a Yamaha and if it was cool or not. A lot of people said it was pretty freaking sick. A lot of people said, no, I kind of hate it. And then I also put a little uh, poll, like I just said, he should go to Suzuki. And a lot of people actually said he should go to Suzuki. Which is kind of funny because Pulp MX tweeted out that Hep Suzuki kind of wants what? to go get him as a Suzuki factory rider for Supercross next year. And I am dead on this rhythm section. So that is kind of, kind of interesting. So before we dive too deep into this conversation, I want to give a big shout out to Erax for creating this second part of the, of these tracks. I'm going to say it. The rhythm sections are freaking tough, man. Uh, whether you're on a 450 250 some rhythm sections are pretty easy some are mellow like this right here this dragon bag this is super mellow right but some of the rhythm sections are very very tough this round 10 is at detroit um that first rhythm section kind of tough second rhythm section kind of tough you have to hit it just perfectly um now the next track is round 11 this is seattle and this might be my favorite section if you can hit it properly you come around the corner and you can quad over this table and you can triple and then you can go triple again but it's so hard to get it's so hard i've only got it a couple times i don't think the 250 will ever be able to yep, even nope. do that so i was kind of close to stepping over that table but yeah no, kind of gave her is, it's hard but zug how do you feel that roxon might be going to another brand than honda your loyal bike how do you feel about that um he's a coward <laughs> he is a coward he leaving honda like that up and dry well yeah jump ship um but yeah i mean he'll do whatever else he's still number one in my heart but i guess i'm on to over kenny on to colt nichols hopefully <laughs> you're already on to gold nichols colt nichols i'm a i'm afraid to say it, he's a beast on a motorcycle but he's not going to do anything what Roxon did on a Suzuki or a Suzuki. Anything Roxon did on the Supercross track, I don't think personally. Hey, you, you might you might surprise everyone, but you never know. It's just pro it's probably gonna be he's probably gonna go on the whoops again, break both his wrists. I really you know. I really hope you don't just jinx him right there, Colt. If you ever watch this, which you probably won't, um, I'm sorry, but <laughs> um, but yeah, I Best mean, luck, buddy, my opinion, listening. I just got the rhythm section barely, but my opinion. Honestly, I think it would be good for him. I've been saying this for a couple of years, just I guess to myself. I don't think I've ever actually mentioned this to anybody, but um, I think it would be good for him to change bikes. I think, I think crashing how he did back in A2, I believe uh, it was either A2 or A3 back in, I don't know what year it was, gosh, maybe 2017, 2016, maybe something like that. Um, the crashing how he did on the Honda, Cheater. I'm amazed. I'm amazed he even went back on that bike. I'm just going to be honest with you. Now, I know that it wasn't necessarily the bike's fault or anything like that. It was just a freak accident. But but still, I, I just couldn't believe that he went back on the same bike that he had that crazy, crazy crash. Um, it was just... I thought he needed a change of, scen change of scenery. I think he needs that just for himself, his own self-confidence. Um, we're going to go to over here right here. But that's how yeah, I come. thought personally and i don't mind him going to a yamaha which the bike is phenomenal i mean we've had the past one looks like a platypus i mean what last motocross to or motocross supercross motocross the last three seasons of motorcycles it's all been yamaha's winning um so i mean how yeah, can but you a whole new bike 
Yeah, but people are saying sketchy. that bike is even better. Like, yeah. so oh. I mean, I'll throw up some footage of him riding. I probably will do that as the intro because he looked good on it. I mean, it's obviously he only had two days on the it's bike. A short so. clip too. Well, there's more footage. Oh, is too. there a longer clip? Yeah, Racer X actually posted a video okay. of him. So I was like I watching watch that. that this morning, but um, he he looked good on it. You can't really tell from like literally a minute of riding like anybody can look good on anything you know what i'm saying especially ken who is like a, a demon on a motorcycle so i just think that he needs to find comfortability i think once he finds that comfortability he will be flying at next year's supercross rounds and i think he also needs to find a deal if he wants to do world supercross he needs to find a deal that would work out perfectly obviously there's rumors that he might go to like uh muck off which has the opportunity to do supercross for him and then as well, or I guess like a portion of muck off, but ha or be able to do supercross, do world supercross. Um, I, I just think that would be kind of cool for him. The bike's really good, but there's also a possibility that he might go Suzuki. I mean, I wouldn't be Eric, surprised if he goes back to the Suzuki. Listen to this theory. He goes privateer this year, you know, doesn't okay. sign anything big. Maybe just like a little, you know, a little privateer team or like look, not, not whatever, you know, Next year, triumph. Can you imagine Ken Roxon being the first like professional rider on Triumph? I mean, I'm, they I'm need pretty one. Sure, I I'm feel pretty like you'd sure be sick ambassador. To GP though, I, I could I could be wrong. I think 2023 season Supercross next year. Dude, imagine Kenny going. I could be to wrong, triumph, but I'm pretty dude. sure. Can you just imagine that? I mean, I don't know how he's going to do that, but th I mean, that I mean, would be. I could be sick that could be very interesting um but i mean really triumph that's like the craziest theory out there hey, but what, if you're hey, right but the dude, goat, i'll give the goat you himself is fucking like testing out the bikes or whatever i know he's ricky that is true that is true well he's like a he's basically like a part owner i think in triumph like exactly and you so, think the I mean, goat is gonna go anywhere less than kenny that is true that is true all right, so that was Glendale, but a side note, that was the Glendale track, our hometown, my hometown at least. Um, I'm excited for that. It's in April this year, so I'm very excited for that. Um, a little bit change of scenery, change of scenery for us because we normally get that oh. cold sprint, but now it's going to be like spring. It's going to be nice outside. Like the riders are going to feel awesome. So I'm excited about oh, yeah, that. Yeah, so um, cold in Arizona winters. Bro, it was 50 degrees this Come morning, and I was I was dying, man. I was dying. But, We're in below freezing in the mornings. Shut up. Yeah, I don't know how you. I don't know how you freaking survive, bro. I just. I don't. I don't get it. But um, that. That theory. Uh, before that, this is Atlanta, round fourteen. Um, My eyes hurt. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited that they're going back to the speedway. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited that they're going back to the speedway instead of the dome. So I am excited for that. This made for some great racing the last couple of years. So, um, especially had that. They had that huge ass triple last year. Remember that? That was that was. Oh, fun to they got to take it out. Yeah, so that was that was fun to watch. Who, uh, Hunter weeded himself. I forget who. Had that. I think Forkner did it. Yes, a, the, a lot of people else. cased the shit out yeah, of that. It was, <laughs> it was great. But that would have been sick if they left it though. Yeah, but um, going back to the candy situation, I honestly Ooh. think that. Oh, it's either, the sand. Sorry, that's cool. I honestly think that like it's either going to be Yamaha or Suzuki. Personally, I think Suzuki has the best option to give him factory. There's no energy drink sponsor to HEP. Um, I, energy drink sponsor. I, there's an alcohol Who's, sponsor. HEP is technically what? Twisted T. Twisted right? tea, but that's alcohol. Technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I think that's fine. It's I still beverage, but yeah, I don't, I don't know that if that's going to play a factor per se. But there's no I, way he's dropping Red Bull. There's no way. Yeah, no, I don't. The see only him. company that sticked with him through everything. So like, and who would drop Red Bull? Imagine like getting a Red Bull. Like, anyone that does anything in sports or like athletics, like knows if you have a Red Bull helmet on, you are like official. Like that's a helmet you want on, in any sport. X Games. No, like, that is anything. true. That is very true. Like, I think that's like anybody's goal in life is to get that yeah, Red Bull helmet. You know, you made it when you get that Red Bull helmet. Yeah. Um. So I mean. I don't. I I see him possibly going to Hep and just staying with Red Bull and um, going there. But I also see him doing his own little Yamaha thing. I see him as I see on the muck off Yamaha thing. I think that could work as well. And oh my God, my recording. 
paused. All right, well, we found out that our recording was chalked. So this part is just new footage of me on the Husky. We're actually, we're, I don't even remember what we were talking about, but I honestly, I think we we're just talking about Kenny. Kenny. And um, how I see triumph. him. I don't know, dude. I think I just honestly see him going to, I honestly see Kenny going to like the Mukoff team. Um, I know that he purchased you Kawasaki's, but I don't necessarily think he's rode them. He said in the Racer X video that I saw today that he hasn't rode Kawasaki's yet and he's excited to ride it. But at the end of the day, I would hate I mean, every second of that. At the end of the day, oh. I think it's going to come down to which team can offer him like the best deal. And I think it might be the Suzuki or Mukoff, to be honest. So it should be interesting. Um, very, very interesting. I am sorry for the mess up that we had for this footage. You guys will be basically seeing some random footage that I had on this compound before Zug got here that I was just recording. So, um, but with that I being said, it. but with that being said, I appreciate Zug for hopping in here. This is going to be part one. We're going to do part two, uh, with, uh, rounds, the last four rounds, um, uh, with all of the tracks and it's going to be good. So we're going to talk about some other things on that one. So be be sure to tune in for that. Um, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate Zug. And uh, big shout out to e for dropping this amazing stuff. So much love, guys. I'll see you guys in the next part.